Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. Semiconductor is an industry characterized by a global industrial chain. Now, semiconductor companies around the world rely on the international supply chain to achieve the integration of upstream and downstream manufacturers. For example, TSMC, as the world's number one chip production company, relies heavily on ASML's EUV lithography machines. Even ASML, the world's number one, only has 10% of its output, and the rest of its output depends on supplies from the United States. Basic Technical Support China is the world's largest semiconductor producer. Currently, about 70% of the world's chip consumption comes from China. China's current chip demand has reached billions of dollars. But if the United States tries to prevent China from entering the international industrial chain, it will cause a bloody storm internationally and will also impose restrictions on international technology. Judging from the latest reports, the United States technological restrictions on China are working. China is self-sufficient in chips, but China's chip exports have plummeted. According to a report some time ago, China's total chip volume in the first half of 2022 has exceeded 190 billion. In the past 15 months, China's total chip loss has exceeded China's total in 2022. The total amount of chips lost in the first quarter was even greater, which means that China's chip imports fell by 20%. Under such pressure, the US government could no longer remain calm. At the request of many U.S. chip companies, the U.S. government made decisions against these companies. The American wafer giant can provide a large number of products for free, such as high-end products, such as A100 and H100 launched by NVIDIA. In this regard, many foreign media also said, this is a situation that Huawei has won. Huawei has made significant progress in independent research and development. As the first company in the world to realize 5G commercialization, Huawei has always been a serious concern for Americans. In 2019, the United States put Huawei on the entity list in the name of national interests which not only restricted the supply of American companies to Huawei products, and also restricts all Huawei products, including Huawei products, from being sold in the United States. Subsequently, the United States imposed four rounds of sanctions on Huawei, further increasing restrictions on Huawei, even asking its allies to ban the export of Huawei products and even threatening to take them away from Huawei. This has caused Huawei's sales to plummet, and its revenue and profits to drop sharply. However, this has not affected Huawei. On the contrary, Huawei is still developing its own technology. Ren Jingfei, the founder of Huawei, once said that 10% of Huawei's annual revenue should be used for technological research. According to Huawei's scale, the annual research funding will be at least tens of billions. According to Huawei, its investment in research and development in the past 10 years has exceeded 100 billion. So far, Huawei has made major breakthroughs in 14 nanometers EDA industrial software. The self-developed Hongmeng system accounts for 8% of the world's share, ranking among the top three in the world. The self-developed ERP 
has replaced all systems around the world. Branch offices and even local suppliers have begun to connect. According to Huawei, so far, Huawei has achieved self-sufficiency with 13,000 parts and 4,000 circuits, of which more than 70% of the parts are from the Mate 50 mobile phone produced by Huawei. Bought. It can be said that, driven by Huawei, domestic chips are developing rapidly, and as Huawei is increasingly affected, many Chinese companies are working hard to develop their own technology. Due to various reasons, the domestic chip market experienced its first breakthrough, so foreign media said, all this is due to Huawei. The largest wafer foundry company in the United States can no longer afford to make trouble. Because the semiconductor industry originated in the United States, the United States occupies a large market share. Therefore, the United States changed its domestic chip regulations and strictly controlled domestic exports. This made semiconductor companies around the world very angry, but they were helpless. In the semiconductor industry, the United States is a very powerful country. American semiconductor companies almost monopolize 50% of the world's semiconductor industry. However, judging from the first quarter results released by major U.S. semiconductor companies, the performance of U.S. semiconductor companies during this period was quite poor. In the first quarter of this year, all U.S. chip companies, including NVIDIA, suffered severe revenue declines, and many were even losing money. The same was true for Micron, which was banned by the Chinese government. Micron is one of the top three memory suppliers in the world and the largest memory supplier in the United States. In the past 10 years, Micron has never suffered a loss. At present, China has not implemented a ban on Micron, but US chip regulations have caused huge losses to Micron. Whether this is China's ban on Micron, or the United States' ban on Micron is unknown. If the United States attempts to force China to withdraw from global supply chains, American companies and other companies that support U.S. sanctions against China will be affected to a certain extent. Now it seems that there are signs of relaxation on the part of the United States, but I don't know when this regulation will become a piece of waste paper that cannot bind all chip manufacturing companies.